I hope we play him too. I'm about to leak all his secrets. <laughs> So we're actually gonna start with GPS. Man, get the hell. Well, y'all crazy. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> Jared knows what's up. Uh, Darwin was confusing me by calling you Wilt, and it took me too long to realize, you know, obviously Will Chamberlain. Uh, nonetheless, AD, uh, with LeBron out, you've kind of you've talked about still playing the right way and everything, but you're level of, aggr of aggression on both ends and just kind of finding a way to push through things. Uh, where has that been mindset-wise and, and what has been your focus for these, these, this last stretch of basketball? I'm uh, just trying to come up with a lot of energy. Uh, just getting back to my old self. Um, you know, being out you know, close to six weeks, you know, it takes a little bit to get back into a rhythm. I um, feel like I was playing great basketball before the injury. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, Guys, some of the coaches are always telling me, like, you know, you was out six weeks. I'm going to take time to get back into a rhythm, um, getting back to that level that I was playing at. Um, and I just kept trusting uh, my work, um, trusting the game plan and the schemes and uh, having a lot of confidence in my game and, you know, just being able to uh, lock in and, and uh, you know, make shots, make plays for others, um, you know, turnovers. Uh, I actually got mad at me because I was trying to make the right plays or be unselfish, uh, which happened on a lot of the turnovers. But, uh, you know, for the most part, just having the mindset coming out, just, you know, doing what I got to do to help the team win. Dave. Nice to see you, Dave. Great to see you, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for blowing me up for that. That's Dan's fault. <laughs> Dan, Dan told me to do that. <laughs> and Dan, no mask today. That's yes. great. Um, <laughs> You guys, uh, when you were two and ten, you were telling us like, "Hey, we could we could run off a, a win streak." Even last year, when you were fighting to find momentum, you're like, "Hey, we could reel off yeah. ten wins in a row." You guys are five and two, post All Star break against all Western Conference opponents that are you're vying with for positioning and standings. And during that stretch, you know, LeBron goes out. Is this kind of the the confidence that you've had in the group paying off, are you starting to see, you know, why you tell us that we're capable of things like this? Are you starting to see it come together? Yeah, um, and it starts with our defense. I just saw, or somebody told me a stat that we're second since the All-Star break uh, in defense and rating. Um, you know, so that's where we're getting it done on the defensive end and then uh, just pushing the transition. And we're playing uh, the right style of basketball. No one is being selfish. We're trying to make the right plays. Uh, guys are taking rhythm shots. Um, and that's all it is. Guys are very confident. Um, you know, and when you play basketball like that, it usually, you know, leads to victories. So uh, as a whole, uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Um, you know, Malik didn't shoot the ball well tonight. Vando didn't get as many minutes as he usually gets. <clears throat> but guys came in and played well, you know, always staying ready, really. You know, Austin with his big plays, choice with his big shots. Um, you know, guys staying ready, you know, winning, you know, coming in, Mo goes out. So, um all our guys are locked in, knowing what we're chasing, um, and knowing that each game matters, and, and we're coming out playing that way. Um, Anthony, <laughs> Mr. Carr, <laughs> <laughs> when Troy gets the steal, gets the dunk, and then he kind of stops and poses for a little bit, Dennis comes down and scores. He does the shimmy. I don't know what you do, Will. <laughs> but does that show the kind of joy you guys are playing with yeah, the team? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're having fun. Um, you know, this game is stressful enough. Um, you don't want to add more stress to it. Um, so we just go out and just have fun. You know, we said it before. We go out every time and just have fun, um, play the game the right way, and, and have fun doing it. And uh, that's what guys are doing. Um, you know, everybody's having fun laughing, but we also know when we have to be serious and um, make plays. So, uh, you know, it's always fun when you're winning, too. So, um, the guys are, we have every right to, you know, to be to be happy right now. We're, we're getting some big wins, especially with one of the, you know, the, the Brian out. Um, it was a huge part of our team. So, like I said, guys are stepping up, playing well. Uh, and it's fun to see guys play well. Everybody's supportive of each other. Um, you know, even if guys aren't playing or making shots, uh, you know, we still want to stay together, um, knowing what we're chasing. Yeah. Uh, AD, you guys moved up to ninth today for the first time this season. Uh, what, what is it 
mean to you to, like, when, when you hear that? And I guess like, just how gratifying is it to finally kind of be back in the top ten in, in, in the playing mix where you guys have been trying to get you know get to? Uh, it's good, but we're not satisfied. Uh, we don't want to stop there. Uh, you know, we want to be greedy. You know, get as many wins as possible and try to you know keep moving up the ladder. Um, you know, we still got to take care of business and do what we're supposed to do. Um, but uh, it feels good to you know move up another spot and uh, continue to chase um, our goals, which is to um, not only be in a play-in, but possibly being in uh, secure in the top six spot. <clears throat> AD, I guess your nose got busted up in, in the second quarter. Um, what was sort of the process of, of looking at that? And, and um, Lakers told us that you didn't get any stitches. Was there an option to get stitches, but you were trying to get out in the court? I was just kind of wondering what happened back there. Uh, I got two, like, cuts on my nose, um, and that's what couldn't stop bleeding. Uh, then, obviously, my nose was bleeding as well. I um, able to put some plug, whatever this is, in there. Um, but it was the cut on the outside that just kept um, bleeding. So uh, uh, it didn't require stitches. Just had to stop the bleeding, and it took a little process um, to do so. Any further concern on that? No. I might want to look at that again. And look at that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the, a big picture, the, the, the lineage of big men in this organization is it's run, runs yep. through its entire history. Um, how cognizant of that are you? And with Powell getting his jersey retired tonight, did, did you think at all at any point about your place <laughs> in, in that yeah. list? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I actually told, you know, Powell that I, I want to hopefully one day be up there as well. I mean, that's a huge honor um, to be up there uh, with the greats, man, and uh, he deserves it, you know. Uh, be up there, like you say, the, the list of big men that come, came through this organization um, and dominated and, and left their mark. Uh, it's hard not to think about it. Um, and you know, obviously, I want to be in that in that in that category in that group. And you know, whenever my body tells me that I'm done playing, um, hopefully, I'm able to come back here and uh, have a ceremony that you know, Powell and the rest of the big man and other uh, former Lakers have had. So, um, it's truly, an honor for him. Um, you know, we got to see Mark as well. So, uh, um, you know, I'm happy for him and just you know. Grateful to to be a part of the organization, you know, who's had so many great talents come through here. Ad, going back to the defensive success that you guys have had, when you and Jared Vanderbilt are on the floor together, the team is allowing less than 100 points per 100 possessions, which is is pretty dang good. What has allowed you guys to build that sort of defensive connection on the fly so quickly? Uh, communication. I uh, haven't had much practice time, but you know, when you have constant communication. Um, between the group, uh, you know, it tends to work out. You know, we've been playing extremely hard, um, and that kind of, you know, cover up for a lot of mistakes. So, um, you know, him being a defensive uh, defensive guy, you know, myself, and then you had Dennis and AR and all these other guys that, um, you know, might not seem like defensive guys, but when you got a, a group of defensive guys around you, it only sparks that. You know, um, so uh, it's been fun. It's been fun, you know, holding teams, um, you know, below their average. And, uh, you know, that's when we throw about our best against stops and running. So uh, we got to continue to do that. Hey, D. Um, what do you think of the nickname Wilt? What was your reaction when Darvin first started calling you that? And what's the challenge there? Uh, I don't even know when that started. I think it was on my stretch before. Um, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's an honor, you know. Well, I mean, things he's done in this league is unreal. Uh, to be able to, uh, I think only coach, so I won't say to be in a category with him. But, um, you know, for coach to think that, you know, he's been around for a long time, seen a lot of, you know, players. Um, as a as a player, as a coach, um, so for him to think that highly of me, obviously it's an honor. Um, but you got to continue to, you know, keep playing this this style of basketball, um, and then just keep winning, you know, and let the rest take care of itself. But um, for him to call me that, man, it's it's funny, but then it's also, you know, an, an honor.